Well, Steve, the situation's back to normal at this corner. Wilshire and Veteran in Westwood really has been since about 1.30 this afternoon, but at 10 this morning, it was the scene of a violent 4th of July clash over the issue of illegal immigration. Six people were hurt in the fighting. Apparently, no arrests were made by police. It began when a conservative group opposed to illegal immigration planned a protest here, but they were confronted by counter-demonstrators who appeared to be bent on violence. Members of a conservative group opposed to illegal immigration said this fighting began when members of the Communist Progressive Labor Party crossed Wilshire Boulevard and attacked them. I was holding my flag. These people came across the street. I wasn't doing anything. I was just holding my flag. All at once, when I grabbed my flag, it hit me over the head. What did the, what you see you? the evidence? The skirmishing went on with soft drink cans thrown by the communists. Some of the right-wingers waded back in with fists and their own picket signs. There were wrestling matches for flags and banners. An American flag was ripped from a conservative and trampled by a leftist. It was ideological combat at Wilshire and Veteran. While the soft drink cans flew and the punches flew, there wasn't a law enforcement officer in sight anywhere around to break this up. Finally, one officer from the Metropolitan Transit Police got in between the combatants, but he was one man versus many. Get the illegal aliens out of the United States of America! Asian, Latin, black and white, workers of the world unite! Like someone in the eye of a hurricane, a woman dressed like the Statue of Liberty walked in between the opposing demonstrations. But after a police officer ushered her aside, the brawling resumed. Generally, it was younger left-wingers versus older right-wingers. Many of them were from the Voices of Citizens Together, a group that helped pass Proposition 187. an end to illegal immigration or these communist revolutionaries who's going to look like the bad guy tonight they attacked us all we did was stand on a street corner in america and wave our own flag on july 4th i guess that's a crime now in america many of the people opposing the conservatives were from the city of bell they'd come here to protest controversial bell school teacher isola foster who favors banning illegal immigrants from public education
And on the 4th of July, we are here to repudiate. We are here to say no to racism and to homophobia and xenophobia. We are not second class citizens and we will not allow these people to drive us out. We will continue fighting. Justice, yes. Racist, no.